In this video, I want to talk to you about a new kind of screwdriver. It's from a Canadian company called MegaPro, and it's their MegaPro Precision Driver. Uh, why would you need a precision driver? Well, the bits are small, and they're specially shaped, and they're just what you need for working on electronics. At least, that's where I use my precision screwdrivers. And, uh, you know, until now I've used the collection that you see here. Um, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of drivers. Most of these drivers came to me just as freebies um, when I buy computer parts. So this is a new battery, for instance, for this laptop. It comes with a couple of drivers. Uh, they're not just small, they're specialized in shape too. They're not particularly high quality, at least not these freebies. So that's, that's one reason why I was particularly interested in this MegaPro, because I know from past experience that MegaPro is definitely a precision driver manufacturer and i've i've made videos and written about their their full-size drivers before this is a ratcheting driver for just kind of regular screw driving use uh, this is only for precision use it's like the the full-size counterpart it's got bits stored in the handle here interchangeable so it really takes the place of a lot of other drivers um, comes out like this and um, you can replace it with any of these one thing I really like about this is the the end part here this end cap is is on a very nice bearing which means when you put it against the palm of your hand and you use it to drive it just it swivels really nicely it, it it goes along with the whole idea of precision, essentially. It, uh, it's a precision instrument for precision work. Now, um, this happens to be one of my favorite kinds of laptops. This is a MacBook Pro mid-2012. Uh, I rely on computers to earn my living. Why would I be using a nine-year-old computer? Well, that's because the configuration of the mid-2012 MacBook Pros was outstanding. Uh, interchangeable memory, uh, replaceable battery, um, all kinds of ports and things on the side. Uh, I really prefer it to the more modern versions, so much so that I actually have four of these that I, that I keep in good condition, ready to go. They're constantly being backed up, so if something goes wrong, something gets worn out, um, I've got a replacement I can just plug it in. I do the, you know, the, the download of all the information and, and away I go and then I, I bring the, uh, you know, the worn out one up to snuff and that's kind of what I'm doing with this particular one. Uh, battery life isn't what it used to be. Um, this charging port needs to be changed. Here's the replacement part. Um, that's where the charging port plugs in but the contacts are getting corroded and they don't work reliably so that's where this comes in. In order to get this part to replace that, I basically have to take apart the whole laptop. Fans, hard drives, everything's got to come out. It's a pretty big job. Um, and then I use my laptop so much that I actually wear out keys. Um, not that I need to see what they say. My fingers know where the keys are. But uh, this is the third, fourth, fifth time maybe I've replaced keys on this particular laptop. Um, here are the replacement keys here. They're ready to go. So that's that's what I'm up to today. But this video is not about how I'm going to do all this because there's plenty of videos like this for this particular computer on, on YouTube. I don't need to add any more. But this is mostly just about a review of this screwdriver, um, which, as I said, I really like. I've, I've been using it for a little while now, and um, it's a great driver. It's, it's far superior to the freebies that, uh, that you get. And um, right now I'm using the Phillips bit. It's a really tiny little little Phillips bit. Whenever you're working on electronics, you need to be meticulous, extra meticulous, in fact, because a lot of the fasteners are unique. Um, you can't get them at stores. They're just proprietary things. Um, so I'm taking the, the cover off this computer. Now I know from a lot of past experience that there are two different sizes of screw. There is the, uh, the longer one here, which goes in these three spots, and then shorter ones all the way around. But, um, 
not a big deal. It's just that you need to you need to keep things in order. In fact, I, I actually have a collection of little parts. When when you connect with a particular piece of electronics like this, and you you make the choice to keep it up instead of treating it as disposable. Well, now you've got an opportunity to collect little parts and screws and fittings and things so that you're more likely to be able to succeed if you run into a bit of a problem. So, so that's the Phillips driver in action there. And I expect we're going to see a fair amount of dust here. That's usually the way it is. Well, it's not too bad. The, these are the cooling fans here. And they're constantly drawing air in to cool all of this hard-working electronics. But, of course, when it pulls in air, it pulls in all kinds of dust, too. So part of this procedure involves cleaning all this. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm not going to go into all the details of repairs. Let me just say that standard wisdom says you should not vacuum the insides of a computer. Um, Certainly, I'm going to be vacuuming this, and I've been taking apart computers like this and working on them. I've done it dozens and dozens of times over 15 or 20 years. I do vacuum the inside of my laptop. I use a horsehair brush, so it's not plastic, it's not synthetic, it's uh, not likely to, um, uh, well, it, kind of, it won't build up static electricity. So that's really the danger, is that you might zap something with a little shock of static electricity, but... Um, uh, I've never had that problem. I go gingerly. I just go where the dust is, and um, that works pretty well for me. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of where a driver like this shines. And if you look inside, let me just take a look here with this uh, with this illuminated lamp. This is also a very helpful thing. This is a magnifying lamp with a built-in ring light, so you can really see what you're doing. So once you get inside any piece of electronics, that's where the um, all these interchangeable bits really come into play because there are quite a few different fastener styles. I mean, there there are the uh, there are the Phillips, which is just like a cross shape. Got to get the right size though in order for that to work. Um, then there's also what's called Torx. That's a Torx one there. Some more Torx. Um, Torx is the size of it is um, described with a number. So for instance, if I'm not mistaken, I think that would be a, a T6 Torx there. Let's see in this one. So you see it says uh, T6 Torx and yep, that's the one for that screw there. So I guess the advantage of the interchangeable style is uh, at least twofold. Uh, first, you've got higher quality, higher quality bits. Uh, the Mega Pro is a professional line. Uh, these are very hard wearing. I've never had a Mega Pro tip let me down by rounding over, and because the metal's too soft. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is variety and and compact shape. You don't have to trip over a whole bunch of screwdrivers like this. And you know, in the past, these freebie drivers that have come with some of the components, repair components I've bought, they have let me down. I mean, one time uh, the driver bit was soft enough that it actually started to round out the head of the screw. And believe it or not, I had to drill out the head of the screw in order to to get that that little wee machine screw out. So, so whenever I review tools, I, I try pretty hard to find the flaws because nothing in the world is perfect. Um, this, it's a great driver. The only thing I can fault it for at the moment is that uh, at least with the collection of driver bits I have in here, there is not one called a tri-lobe, which is what I have here. It's like the, it's a Phillips driver. It's like a Phillips driver, but instead of four arms, it only has three. And uh, in this case, the tri-lobe driver is what you need to remove the battery. It's the only tri-lobe fastener in the whole computer here. But um, I have talked to the Mega Pro people and they tell me that there are more than 90 different precision driver bits in the world. It's, it's quite a, ver a varied collection, and they're always adding new ones. So I'm sure the tri-lobe is going to be added soon. Maybe they've even got it now, and it's just not in the handle. But uh, bottom line is if, if you want to have success, if you want to have do-it-yourself success, um, creative success, 
um, success at repairing things. You just need good tools. And that's kind of an investment that I'm surprised a lot of people don't make. You know, they'll, they'll cheap out um, and they pay for it and they wonder why their DIY life isn't what it should be. Equip yourself properly with high quality tools, even professional grade tools. I mean, that's what I do. I'm not a professional computer guy here, but I have found that uh, good tools matter here, just like in, in any other area of metalworking, woodworking. And uh, I think you like the, the Mega Pro line. I know I certainly do.